Imagine a world beyond your sight, a cosmos unfathomable in its vastness yet within your reach. This is the realm of the unseen universe, a celestial spectacle that unfolds before us each night, yet remains largely invisible to the naked eye. But what if we could capture these distant worlds and bring them within our grasp? This is the art of astrophotography, a practice that combines science, technology and creativity to reveal the awe-inspiring beauty of the cosmos. For centuries, humans have been captivated by the night sky, our eyes drawn to the twinkling stars, the ethereal glow of the moon, and the elusive dance of distant planets. The celestial bodies, with their silent ballet of light and shadow, have sparked curiosity, wonder, and a deep yearning to understand the mysteries of the universe. Astrophotography has evolved greatly since its humble beginnings. Early stargazers could only dream of capturing the splendor of the heavens. The first attempts were crude, often yielding blurry images that barely hinted at the grandeur above. Yet, these initial forays into astrophotography laid the foundation for a new way of seeing the universe. With the advent of technology, we've seen a transformation in the way we capture the celestial spectacle. Today's astrophotographers use sophisticated equipment and advanced techniques to photograph the night sky with stunning detail and precision. Digital cameras, telescopic lenses and computer software are just a few of the tools that have revolutionized this art form, allowing us to capture images of stars, planets and galaxies with a clarity and depth that our ancestors could only dream of. But astrophotography is more than just technology, it's a means of exploration a way to satisfy our innate curiosity about the universe. It's a form of artistic expression, a way to share the beauty of the cosmos with others. And perhaps most importantly, it's a reminder of our place in the universe, a humbling perspective that underscores our connection to the cosmos. Now let us embark on a journey to capture the cosmos, one frame at a time. Astrophotography isn't just about pointing your camera at the sky and hoping for the best. No, it is an art, a craft that requires precision, patience and the right tools. Imagine for a moment that you're an artist. Your canvas, the cosmos, your paintbrush, light and the tools you need to bring this celestial masterpiece to life. Let's delve into that. First up, you need a camera and not just any camera. You need one that can handle low light conditions and long exposures. A DSLR or mirrorless camera is typically your best bet. They offer larger sensors, allowing for better light capturing capabilities. Next, a sturdy tripod is a must. You see, the stars may seem stationary to us, but they're not. They're moving ever so slowly across the sky and your camera needs to be rock steady to capture them in all their glory. A good tripod provides that stability. Then comes the lens, a fast lens to be precise. The faster the lens, the more light it lets in. This is crucial when you're trying to photograph objects that are light years away. A lens with a wide aperture, say f2.8 or lower, would be ideal, but having the right tools is only half the battle. You need to understand them, know their quirks and features. You need to know how to set your camera's ISO to balance between capturing enough light and avoiding too much digital noise. You need to understand shutter speed to know how long to expose your image without creating star trails, unless, of course, that's the effect you're going for. You also need to grasp the concept of focusing at infinity because your subjects are, well, infinitely far away. And let's not forget about post-processing, where the raw images you capture are transformed into the stunning star-studded shots you see in magazines and galleries. With the right tools in hand, the universe is yours to capture. So grab your camera, set up your tripod and let's paint the night sky with light. Astrophotography is where art meets science. As we delve into the science behind this captivating art form, we find a universe governed by laws and principles that, when understood, can help us take breathtaking images of the cosmos. A vital factor in astrophotography is light pollution. This pesky glow that emanates from urban areas can wash out the night sky, obscuring the celestial bodies we aim to capture. By understanding how light pollution impacts our view of the cosmos, we can strategically choose locations far from city lights, where the sky is darkest and the stars shine brightest. Now let's consider the rotation of the Earth. You may have noticed that stars don't stay put in the sky. They seem to move in a circular path around the celestial poles. This apparent motion is due to the Earth's rotation on its axis. For astrophotographers, this presents a challenge. 
Leave the shutter open too long and the stars will form streaks or star trails in your image. To capture sharp pinpoint stars, you'll need to use a technique known as tracking, which involves moving the camera at the same speed as the Earth's rotation. Finally, understanding the positions of celestial bodies is crucial. To photograph a specific star, planet or galaxy, you'll need to know where in the sky it will be at a given time. Astronomers use coordinates much like those on Earth, right ascension and declination, the celestial equivalent of longitude and latitude. By using these coordinates, you can point your camera to the precise location of your desired celestial object. These scientific principles are not mere barriers to overcome, they are factors that can enhance your astrophotography. By understanding light pollution, you can find the perfect location. By acknowledging Earth's rotation, you can create either sharp star images or mesmerizing star trails, and by knowing celestial coordinates, you can capture any cosmic object you desire. In astrophotography, the science sets the stage and your creativity directs the play. Now, we stand at the threshold of the cosmos, camera in hand. In the game of astrophotography, the cosmos is the pitch and your camera is your player. To capture the enchanting beauty of the night sky, one needs to understand the rules and master the tools. The first step is setting up your camera. Position it on a sturdy tripod, aimed at the celestial canvas you wish to capture. Then align it with the celestial pole if you're in the northern hemisphere, or the southern celestial pole if you're in the southern hemisphere. This alignment is crucial as it allows for the smooth tracking of stars across the night sky, resulting in crisp, clear images. Choosing the right settings is the next crucial step. Set your lens to its widest aperture, allowing the maximum amount of light to hit the sensor. Opt for a low ISO to reduce noise and ensure the highest image quality. As for the shutter speed, it's a balancing act. You want to expose the sensor long enough to capture the faintest stars, but not so long that the stars begin to trail due to Earth's rotation. It's a dance between light and time, and it takes practice to perfect. Now you're ready to shoot. But here's the thing, astrophotography is not a one-shot deal. You'll need to take multiple exposures, capturing various elements of the night sky separately, some shots for the stars, some for the foreground, some for the deep sky objects. Later, these different layers will be combined in post-processing to create a single stunning image. Astrophotography is a test of patience. It's about waiting for that perfect moment when the cosmos aligns just right. It's about enduring the cold, the dark, the silence, all for the chance to capture something truly magical. It's about the thrill of the chase and the joy of the capture. In the silence of the night we wait, as the cosmos slowly reveals itself. Every photograph is a story, a moment frozen in time. And in the realm of astrophotography, these stories are written with the light of a thousand stars, the gleam of distant galaxies, and the ethereal glow of nebulae. In this art form, the artist's canvas is the night sky and their brush, a camera, but the masterpiece doesn't simply emerge with the click of a shutter. No, it's in the post-processing of the images where the true magic happens. Here, the raw captures of the cosmos are transformed into awe-inspiring portraits of the universe. The technique of stacking is a fundamental part of this transformation. By layering multiple images of the same subject, we can reduce noise, enhance detail, and bring out the faintest of celestial objects. This process can turn a seemingly ordinary capture of the night sky into a vivid tableau of stars, resplendent in their sparkling glory. But stacking is just the beginning. The astrophotographer's toolkit also includes a range of editing tools to fine-tune the image. Adjustments to contrast, saturation, and sharpness can reveal hidden details accentuate colors, and give depth to the scene. Take, for instance, a photograph of the Orion Nebula. The raw image might show a faint smudge of light amidst a sea of stars. But with careful editing, that smudge transforms into a vibrant cloud of gas and dust, illuminated by the light of newborn stars. The image tells a story of stellar birth and death, a cosmic dance of creation and destruction that's been unfolding for millions of years. Through astrophotography, we not only capture the cosmos, but also a piece of ourselves. Each photograph is a testament to our curiosity, our creativity, and our relentless pursuit of knowledge. In the face of the universe's vastness, we find a way to make our mark, to say, we were here, we saw, we wondered. So as you gaze upon these celestial masterpieces, remember the stories they tell. Not just of distant stars and galaxies, but of the humans who dared to look up and capture the cosmos. 
As we gaze upon these celestial wonders, we cannot help but wonder, are we really alone in the universe, or is there someone somewhere looking back at us?